Uh, what the hell? How I open this thing, man. Anyway, <laughs> never recorded in bed before. This is a bit weird. <laughs> gonna get up. Gonna go get a coffee and some food. And I'm gonna show you guys um, big, around, but uh, <laughs> I can't even talk to the one around Bagara and Burnett Heads, um, where I grew up. So. I don't even know what I'm doing in this vlog. I'm winging it. I've never done this style before, so we'll see how we go. Anyway, I should get out of bed. Late start. Look at the sky. Ah, you can see that. At least it's a good day. <laughs> All right, let's go find some coffee, eh? All right, I've had a nice shower gotten ready why not oh, here's the bike good morning good morning beautiful fat bob oh it's filthy how's your sleep that's good see as i said um we'll head out to like burner heads bagara i might try and find some breakfast and a coffee and um yeah <clears throat> i guess we'll go from there eh it's a beautiful day look at this Look at this, before I do anything, look at this. Not a cloud. How good's that? All right, let's jump on the bike. There's dead set, not one cloud. Not one. That's it, have a look. This right here, this right here is the primary school I went to. <laughs> I feel so old, man. There's no way. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's never trip you out. You're like, it feels like yesterday that you were here. Like putting my bike in this bike rack and then walking into class. Like, like it, 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 it legit. It legit feels like yesterday, man. Far out, we age so quickly. Man, if that isn't just a reminder to just get out and live life, then I don't know what is. Like, boom, man, you know? I feel like I was just playing tennis and basketball in, in there. It wasn't covered when I was in school, that wasn't covered though. We just, um, we just out in the elements, you know? But not much else has changed from looking at it from here, just that. Yeah, this is Burnett Head State School, <laughs> where I went. Man, that's... Get out and live life, eh? Feels like yesterday, man. Coffee. 
Ah, oh, the bike's filthy. All right. Kelly's. I've been here before, but um, this wasn't here when I was a kid, though. Everything's totally different. There we go. Bike's sitting there nice. Look at this. Look at electric... They've even got an electric charge station here. That's so weird. That's weird as. How the world's changing, eh? Go for a little walk. This has always been here. When I was a kid, there was always some sort of, <laughs> there was always some sort of fish and chips up here, but it looks like it's always had a new owner. Every time I swear I've been back, there's always like some sort of new fish and chip shop there. This is pretty cool. It wasn't like this. The IJ wasn't there when I was a kid. And that's awesome. We just have, used to have this tiny little general store here. These have always been here. Mostly empty all the way down there. <laughs> but um, it's a nice quiet little town. It's good. This used to be just a little general store. Oh, it still is. There you go. It's a little news agent. Which is cool. There used to be all photos all in this window of like UFOs and like all random stuff because there used to be heaps of sightings over at the marina over here which is crazy like to think about but i mean a lot of weird stuff did happen here i seen some stuff some anyway it's just i don't know you still think i'm crazy but i don't know back then remember the cameras weren't that great so who knows there weren't drones back then nothing like that so and yeah that's all new and over here they've got like a beautiful new park as well with like um memorial park anzac memorial park anyway that's it that's literally that's it nothing else doesn't no bigger <laughs> that's it nice small and simple there used to be a hairdresser down there when i was a kid but i'm not sure if it's there anymore probably not but um yeah small as have a coffee and some breakfast i'm starving and then i'll go show you like i don't know where i used to swim all that stuff the beaches and yeah we'll go from there all right so it's called kelly's coffee food and juice and the coffee's bloody awesome so if you're ever out here in burner heads come get a coffee from here because it's good <laughs> it's hard to find good coffee so there you go it's nice and smooth but mind you i get oat milk so it could be different for you guys So this right here is the uh, the Burnet Heads Marina. So <laughs> as a kid, I used to jump off this jetty jumping. This used to be fully operational. I used to have a shop in there, <clears throat> and all like right out to here, there was all boats docked and stored, and they used to all come into this marina and dock and st um, store their boats here and live here. Like I had a mate who lived on a boat right here. But yeah, now apparently going to do up all this whole esplanade over here, and but yeah, it's beautiful. And um, yeah, I used to jetty jump off here into the water. There's like probably so many bikes and bits of metal down the bottom because um, some of my stupid mates would ghosty their bikes in there, and then you'd the so there's all bikes and metal all down there now. <laughs> like who knows? It's probably still there, but um. Yeah, it was a lot of fun just growing up here. I remember being so young. We'd just come here and jump off at the age of 10, 12, whatever. It's pretty cool. Go fishing, obviously, off these walls. I'd swim in these rivers over the back here, I'll show you. So sketchy, like the amount of bull sharks that are in there. I don't know how I didn't get eaten alive. This, this is a perfect example. So there's these, this river that runs all the way through. Like just goes all the way through and um it never used to look this beautiful what the hell <laughs> when i was a kid it didn't look that nice anyway it looks nice to swim in right but it's full infested of bull sharks goes all the way through the amount of cars and stuff that are in here as well there's like a salt flat over that way and um motorbikes and cars they used to just people used to come i was too young for that but people used to come here and thrash them and then dump the cars into the river up further but yeah 
used to swim in here as a little kid, a bit of skinny dipping. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's cool. Now I he I'll head out to um, the local beach where I used to hang out as well and swim. I'll show you that. The water tower. So funny driving past like spots where I stacked it on my push bike and stuff. Just weird memories, you know. Ah, uh, so this is Oaks Beach. This is where I used to come as a kid. It's pretty cool. It's where the tur turtles come here as well to lay and hatch here. So from, I think it's November through to March, they um, they lay their eggs here. Or, or is it hatch? I can't remember. No, I think they lay here during those times. Um, it's pretty cool. Some weird memories here. It's not a bad beach. It's okay. But, um, like, it could be, you know, it's not the best. <laughs> I think the, uh, the beaches out at Bagara, I'll go show you those. I think they're a bit better. But um, yeah, it's called Oaks Beach and Burner Heads. It's nice and quiet. It's actually, it's school holidays. It's not even that busy. So come check it out anyway. This is where I came as a, a young little whippersnipper. So <laughs> it's a good little beach. But yeah, sometimes it gets some good surf up, but yeah. Um, not right now, obviously, but that's okay. See on the bike, we'll head out to Bagara. I'll show you that, Bagara is beautiful. I wouldn't mind getting a place at Bagara. So, anyway, let's go. How good's this? Here we are, park the bike up. Good boardwalk. It's kind of like a, it's like a mini Sunshine Coast. I love this place. So all these beaches here, and then you also got up around the corner there's a basin. There used to be um, there used to be heaps of coral in it, but now there's there's no coral anymore. So, so there's a bagara. It's kind of like, I guess you'd say, kind of like a mini Malula bar or something like that. So. Yeah, go down here anyway. So yeah, you've got a fish and chip shop over there, stuff like that, and cafe. The fish and chip shop's pretty good, but um, I've been there a heap of times. They do ice cream and stuff like that. It's a better view of the beaches over here. Goes all the way. But nah, it's pretty nice. It's a relaxing town. It's not not very busy, even in school holidays. It's pretty good. So. I'll just walk out off here and I'll um I'll film looking back back at all at the town. Yeah, check this out, the water's still pretty clear even though it's a flogged day. And yeah, this is um Despinard. Usually it's beautiful and flat, like all through here is nice and flat. Um so yeah. Anyway, I'll go show you um I'll go show you some other places. But yeah, come to Bagara. <laughs> come to Bagara. If he's ever here, it's beautiful. When when it's not windy, tell you what, it's beautiful. And there's even better beaches. These beaches are nice, but with better beaches around the corner you can surf at and stuff. Um, I might show you those, but soon, soon I'm heading over to Elliot Heads to um, catch up with a mate. We're gonna have some fish and chips and catch up. But yeah, I might show you the basin. It's super hard because I don't want to get anyone, any kids or anything in, in the camera. Because obviously, you know, that's... One, it's weird, and two, I think it's against like YouTube's policies and, you know, just out of respect, you know. Alright, let, let's go. But yeah, it's beautiful. Look. Beautiful. Nah, 
there's too many people, I didn't run a record there. That's Kelly's Beach. That's like a little inlet where you can swim. It's pretty cool. We're in Elliot Heads. Another beautiful spot, another beautiful spot. So Elliot Heads is basically a massive inlet. So there's a beach and then a massive inlet. So the water comes in into like a river system and then comes out. But the sandbars are always changing here. It's bloody beautiful. There's some rock pools and everything there as well. I'll try and show you guys that. Had to park all the way out here. It's all right. It's only like a two minute walk down there, but um. Anyway, it's absolutely packed here. What the hell? I thought Bagara would be busier, but nope. We can bikes all um, parked up. Someone else just parked up near me. I don't know what this is. Is this a glide, electric light or something? Classic, ultra classic, is that what it is? I don't know, man. Tell me in the comments, let me know what it is. But it's pretty cool anyway. Um, let's go check out the water, eh? Shows, I'm just waiting for my mate. We're gonna catch up for lunch. My mate, he rides um, a sports bike, but he wants to get a Harley, so... Yeah, I'm gonna ask him why, get his opinion on why he wants a Harley. Why He's got a sports bike now, but... I don't know, see what he says. Absolutely dying of thirst, so I had to go get a Powerade. I just seen my mate rock up, his he just turned up. What is this? It's not a Harley. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> R7. I'd still flog my bike, unfortunately. Is a sport bike allowed to ride with a Harley? I don't know. Give me two years. What's going on, bro? How cool, man. How you been? Good. That's good. You said you wanted a Harley, didn't you? Yeah. At some point. Some point. He wants a Harley. Why do you want a Harley? People want to know. Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> Just the community, really. Yeah. It's a good community. The Harley community is good. The Harley family. Everyone's been pretty positive on my channel to do with Harleys. So, I mean, when I used to ride sports bikes and adventure bikes, they were pretty cool too, like community wise, but I don't know. I feel like the Harley community is a bit different. It's a bit more close, I think. I don't know. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, he agrees. Either a Harley or an Indian. One or the other. Harley or Indian, yeah. They're both good. I think some people in the comments will get upset. Some of them don't like Indian. <laughs> They're both good, let's be real. No, this is a nice bike though, bro. It's good. What year model? 23. 23, damn. All right, I think we're gonna get something to eat and chill out. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, uh, look at this. I've come down here, it's still windy as, but this is the main part. Footpath all the way out here. Right, yeah, this is the beach over here. The main beach. Shame it's so windy though. There you go. It's bloody beautiful, it goes all the way down there. The water's actually beautiful. Crap, I nearly stood on this bloke. How cool is that? It's an Australian um Australian dinosaur. Sun bacon little champion, eh? There you go, there's some Australian wildlife for you blokes. It's literally just sitting next to the road getting some sun. I think he must be a bit cold. Hope he didn't get hit. You right, champ? So skinny. You right? Oh, there you go. No, you're right. There you go, mate. Oh, okay, he's staunching. Whoa. There he goes. <laughs> he just ran off. He just took off. He's fine. Uh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, there you go. A little Aussie dinosaur. Bearded dragon, that's called, if you're wondering. Go for a little ride with the Sporty and the Harley. So I just found out Matt's a junkie. Just injected himself. No, it's yeah. insulin, wasn't it? Yeah. Insulin, yeah. He's got diabetes. Type one, is that a bad one? Right, man. Type two is more dietary. Oh yeah, it's manageable, that's all right. 
At least you're not a junkie. I thought you were a junkie I for a second. Eat whatever I want to eat. All right, let's hear this weapon start. That's pretty spicy. Oh. Mine's loud, but it's slow. <laughs> That was a good little little ride. We just came up to the hummock again. I was here yesterday, but <laughs> we're here again. Here again with the bikes. That was fun. There were some good little corners back down there, so that was good. And then we went on some dirt, as you've seen. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go. to race me. Here we are, we're at um, Modern Repose. This is where the Turtle Beach is, where they um, do all the laying and hatching. This is the biggest, I think this is the biggest one in Queensland or something. Maybe even Australia, I don't know. Uh, that was a fun little uh, race thing. So it was on, on a private road to Matt's property, but anyway. Um, yeah, up to the speed limit, so it was good. All legal anyway, but I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised, one, that the fat bob did so well too that the r7 did so well so it's crazy this thing's restricted and all learn illegal and i reckon if the restrictions and everything were off probably would have had me so like that was a lot of fun but um you know harley's always on top so I sucked in <laughs> so make you want to get a harley though yeah. yeah it's like the the sound and the raw power yeah wow. <laughs> yeah no, that was good that was good here we go, there's this nice little beach. Oh, what the hell? This nice little boardwalk through to the beach. So, yeah, and have a look. This is the um, Monropo Turtle Beach. They hold like, um, what would you call it? Like tours and stuff, you can come here at night and uh, watch the turtles lay and watch the turtle eggs hatch. So it's a pretty nice beach. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So windy though, it's a shame. Here you go, here's a little thing that tells you. So courtship, nesting, hatching, feeding, migrating. And you've got like a, a yearly graph of when it all happens. All right, it's about time for me to head home. I'm not gonna film any of the way home. I'm just gonna end it here. I'm gonna hang out with my mate a bit more, enjoy the view. Um, Bloody good view, shame about the wind. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe really helps me out. Comment below anything, <laughs> Just, it helps me with the algorithm. I'm not sure how this video is gonna come together, but I'm just winging it, I'm just winging it. But uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.